Hello everyone, welcome back to another Oh Hey Jelly vlog. My name is Jelly and this is Mr. P. Recently, Mr. P and I went to Bhutan for the very first time. We spent 5 delightful days in this beautiful country thanks to the warm hospitality of our knowledgeable guide, Kile, and our driver, Tandin. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we receive our guests, this is like an uh, honorific way of welcoming our guests. Okay. Oh. Well, you can put it Thank on you. your neck. Upon landing at Paro International Airport, we hopped onto the car and started the day's adventures. As you can tell from day one's itinerary, it was an action packed day. So let's get started. The oldest bridge in Bhutan. Built in the 15th century. Wow. Located along the Paro Timpu Highway, Tachok Lakang, meaning Temple of the Hill of the Excellent Horse, was built by the legendary Tang Tong Garpo. He was also an engineer who is believed to be the first to use heavy iron chains in the construction of suspension bridges. He built numerous iron bridges and temples across Bhutan and Tibet in the 15th century, some of which are still in use today. What are all this? These are all like prayer flags. Prayer? It's been hosted by the people who are coming here. Oh. It's mainly to overcome bad luck, to enrich our good luck. That's why we host the prayer flags. Usually we will see hosting prayer flags on the riverside, on top of mountains. They represent the fight on the Yes, yes. Oh. Right. Yeah. And water. Water. White eh? White is uh, wind. 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 Okay, wind. Then we have red, fire. Red is fire. Yes. Yellow? Yellow is sun. Sun. The sun. When we rotate this, it seems like chanting with our mouth a thousand times. You know? We circumulate the stupa, we rotate the prayer wheels mainly to get married. Married, mm, yes, mm, married. Mm, okay. mm. So what if you're already married? <laughs> no, that one is different. Uh, that one is different. M-E-R-I-T. Yeah, married. <laughs> married. It's okay. not married. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding, I know. <laughs> oh, if you're already married, then you can yeah. do double. Yeah. <laughs> and these are the small stupas. It is also a representation of some great masters like Ashes. It's so cold. It's a very fresh water. You can even drink it, I think. It's from the mountain, yes, isn't sometimes it? Sometimes we do, you know, when we were kids, is we it? have a group of friends, we carry the pack lunch, we, we just fun. go inside the forest, graze the cows, then evening we have to get all the cows and back home again. So that's like how we are brought up in the village. Just touch water, fresh mountain water actually. It's amazing. <sighs> So happy already. Very strong. Yeah. yeah he's very strong. Oh wow, no wonder people want to stay. He's <laughs> <laughs> good, I am. People, people have a belief, you know. They just keep the small ones, then they consider this as very precious one. Since this is from 15th century, then they keep it in the altar room. Just like a worshipping, you know, precious thing. Uh. Yeah. This is the busiest <laughs> highway. You keep counting, you know, one yeah, car. One car. <laughs> one, two, two cars. Yeah, okay, two it's car. quite busy. Yeah. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. <laughs> this is uh, also a Kia. It's yeah. a collaboration with India, this car. Mm -hmm. We have a Toyota also. Right. We have very few European cars here. Mm -hmm. Very few, very rare. This is a cab. Yeah. It's a taxi here. Yeah. So these are all like Maruti Suzuki. Mm -hmm. Affordable, yes. then yes. The parts are also very easy to get in. What happens when the world ends? At least this is an okay part. These are the modern buildings. It's concrete. Yes, it's with the concrete. And the highest story is about seven story is the highest. 
this in Bhutan, yes, so we are not allowed to build more than that one since we are in the Himalayan region yeah, because of some exactly. disasters, yes. Yeah. We don't have skyscrapers. This is the first building with the excavator. Oh! Yeah, first and last. Yeah. Because it's a bit expensive to have an excavator. Ah. It's not working right now, the excavator. It's not working. <laughs> it's something went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's the National Stadium. We don't have traffic lights in Bhutan. Yeah, yeah. Everything is a manual. If some strangers call me Kili, I say La. 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 That's right. Right spread. Oh, La. Oh. La. Okay. It's very common here also. A band of strangers. Some people mostly they put La. Okay, La. Yeah. It's a local oh, rice. Oh, great rice. We have a noodle. It's an eggplant. Eggplant. We have a cabbage. Yes. Cabbage, the cabbage and broccoli. It's vegetable. Light. Oh. Then we have a Bhutanese dish, very famous one. Chili, Chili cheese. with cheese. Chili and a cheese, yeah. Spicy. Oh, you can try a bit. If you like it, you can have some more. Okay. Yes, Bhutanese famous dish. Chicken and we have a cucumber salad. This is our food, dental soup. What's the point in dreaming if I lose my voice? The second I get caught by you, I wanted you to know. Dessert. How does it taste, Mr. P? Not cream and That I'm afraid But we can make it go away I hope you hear the things I say This is our lunchtime review Bhutan Poster Museum shop is here Apparently you can make a stamp with your face on it <laughs> I would like a stamp with my face on it we are going to the General Post Office. The Bhutan Postal Museum was established in 2015 to celebrate the 60th birth anniversary of the fourth king of Bhutan, His Majesty Jigme Singye Wangchak. What happens if you cross the road, not at the zebra crossing? Oh, You'll get fined? If you see by the traffic police, yes. Okay, <laughs> so no jaywalking. But not really common. Not Sometimes really common. Sometimes we just watch, you know, if there is no car, we we'll <laughs> okay. Oh. Tiger's Nest. And this is the photo. If you have a photo, you can just uh, transfer it. But you have to make the full sheet like this. Set up by the Bhutan government, the National Institute of Zoric Chusum keeps Bhutan's 13 traditional contemporary arts and crafts alive. Students, male and female, can choose which of the traditional crafts they wish to pick up and are given apprenticeship of about 3 to 6 years. The 13 crafts range from wood carving to sculpturing, painting, bronze casting, weaving, carpentry, masonry, gold, silver and blacksmithing. National certificate. It was really cute to be able to have a glimpse into the local school life. Instructors teach the students their chosen art and we were allowed to go into the classrooms to observe and watch the students working on their craft and even buy the completed items from the on-site gift shop. So much. <laughs> 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 uh, do you want more? Huh? Okay, enough, enough. <laughs> yeah, can you press stop? Sorry, I can't. Inside the school courtyard, we found a depiction of the four harmonious friends of Bhutan: the elephant, monkey, rabbit, and bird, representing harmony, unity, and integrity. This image is often painted at home with a belief that there will be no separation, discord, and partition within the family. The image is also said to portray social and environmental harmony. Mm -hmm. 
This preserve for Bhutan's national animal, the takin, was originally established as a zoo. But the fourth king decided that this was not in keeping with Bhutan's environmental and religious convictions and so the takin were ordered to be released back into the wild. To everyone's surprise though, even when set free, these docile animals refused to inhabit the surrounding forest but took to wandering the streets of Timpu looking for food. It was then decided to keep the takins safe in an enclosed forested habitat at the edge of Timpu. The preserve also hosts a few saba and barking deers. Some may be curious as to why the takin was declared as the national animal. The legend of the takin's creation dates back all the way to the 15th century. Popularly referred to as the divine madman, Lama Drupa Kunle was a religious teacher and proficient tantric. He was requested by the people of Bhutan during one of his religious lectures to conjure a miracle before them. Drupa agreed to do so, provided that he was fed a whole cow and a whole goat for lunch. He devoured both animals and left out the bones. He then took the head of the goat and fixed it to the skeleton of the cow and with a snap of a finger, he created a live animal. This animal was given the name Takin. Dry chili on the roof. It's irritated. <laughs> It's just licking the lip. Adults tuck in have a golden yellow and brownish coat. While calves are black in colour. So sorry, okay. Today uh, we are not allowed to visit the fortress because they are having some arrangements inside. Not able to go in today. The Tashicho Zong, meaning Fortress of the Glorious Religion, is one of the nation's biggest Buddhist monastery and fortress on the northern edge of the city of Timpu. It has traditionally been the seat of the head of Bhutan's civil government. It houses the throne room and offices of the king, the cabinet, secretariat, the ministries of home affairs and finance. While we were unable to visit the Zong on the day as there were ongoing preparations within the Zong for the naming and blessing ceremony of the third child of the current Bhutan king, we were however still able to witness the daily flag lowering ceremony from afar. This ceremonial lowering of the royal flag of Bhutan was interesting as it involved priests and royal guards, music and processions. This is our room for the night. When we come in, there's a cupboard here and a mirror here. The washroom is here. Let's do a quick washroom tour. Very clean and new. There's a toilet bowl and a shower area. When we come in, there's the bed. So far, we have some view here of houses in the road, drinking station, TV, very nicely, tastefully designed. Wow, it's a place for you to work. Eh? 
This is our dinner tonight. This is our table. We just ordered a la carte off the menu and it's part of the package. So let's see how the food is gonna be like. We ordered the hoge salad, noshapa, shiitake, chicken, hot and so on. Not much people in the hotel because it's off peak season. Yeah. But it's a bit weird lah, cause everybody pays a lot of attention to you. I don't like attention. Why is it a good thing? Why is it a good thing? I mean, when people are focused on you, then you can ask more specific questions. Even but you have the space to yourself. We don't have to worry that oh, I cannot take photo here. Can Less things to consider. Okay. This is shiitake chicken. Oh, it looks gravy full and. A uh, hoge salad. H O G A Y, hoge salad. This is their. It's a Bhutanese salad, right? No sha pa. No sha pa. This is beef, beef. chili. Did in Bhutanese style, so got vegetables and some sauce in there. This is a hot and spicy soup. It's really called hot and spicy soup. And Dinner. this is Mr. P and Milk Tea. Hi! Hang on. First day of Bhutan Dan. Yeah, first day done. Now time for Bhutan again. I want to pass you the rice. Do you want to pass me the plate? Mm. Chicken and mushroom. Can I try one more later? Of course. Food platter. And Mr. P suffering from the spice. Not suffering, I, I can do this. Suffering face. But verdict, the food is good, right? Uh, it's flavorful, it's just spicy. But it's good. This is our hotel. First night in Bhutan. Whew, it's cold. Yeah. I'm shaking. Shake, shake, shake. People wear puffy. It's cold. What's the temperature now? Between 6 to negative 1, I can't tell. But the fact that it hasn't frozen over, it shouldn't be negative 1. But my breath got, got smoked already. <laughs> Walking along the streets of Timpu. Oh, no bad leo. You're no bad leo. And that's all for this vlog. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to follow us on our next few days of adventuring through Bhutan. See you in the next one. Bye! I, I feel like we get judged. We are all getting judged. Yeah, no, the three of them is like looking at us. Okay, okay. <laughs> I said, hey, do you feel the way that I do? I said, hey.